Hi guys, this is My Skywatch 2. Welcome to our channel. This is Daryl and Robin, and uh, this is for Lisa. I wanted to let you know I did finally find it. So if you're still interested in it, let me know. It looks like it might have a little bead missing here. I might have it though. And one here, so I wanted you to see that. If you still want it, let me know. Um, Alrighty, I'll see what I can do. If I fix it, I'll let you know that too. Anyway, I wanted to finish up the jewelry jar that it was a nine pounder, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Over nine pounds. Wanted to finish up. We'd gone through the earrings and everything, and um, I pulled out, pulled it all out. So here we had this, and I don't know what this is. If anybody knows, let me know. It looks like it may be repair pieces or some kind of closure thing. I'm not sure. Have you ever seen anything like that? Let me know. I'm going to put that aside and see if I get any answer from anybody. I'm going to show you the pair of earrings we had. We had these. They're going in the craft lot because they're a little, um, what you call it, discolored. We had this pair. These cute little um, hearts, and they're either resin or celluloid or something. Sweet little hearts. We had this, and I'm not sure what to make of these. It looks like something I don't know. It doesn't look like earrings to me. It looked like teeth too. Kind of weird. We had this pretty pair. They're not magnetic. I don't see any marks on them though. Side view, bezel set, post. And there was this pair, and these are 10 karat. This is at um, Black Hills Gold. And they had their backs. One's a silver back, though, and one's a 10 karat back, I think. Or either a silver goldish looking back. They're different backs, but they fit them well. Very cute earrings. We had these, and I think they need silver wires only. I'm not sure. Or you could wear them with, um, if you had some little turquoise post, then you could add those to it. But I thought those are very pretty. These are sterling. They are marked on the back. Sterling, S-T-E-R. We had a single little turquoise earring. Sterling. <clears throat> now these two pair of earrings are, they're CZ but they're also sterling and they're very pretty. Well set. Those. Those are beautiful. Here's the side. Right here. Let's see if I can get it to where y'all can see it. Very nicely set. Beautiful CZs in sterling. These right here. are also CZ, but sterling. And they're single post. And then we had some 10 carat and 14 carat single post. No, not a single post. These right here are CZs, but they're 14 carat. They're marked on the stems. This is the way they're set. That's what they look like. And then this one is a 10 carat, I believe. Yeah, 10 carat. So those were nice finds. 
you really have to look at your earrings and you have to not just look on the back here for a marking. You've got to look on these stems, these posts. And then there was this one that I didn't even see or test. Just now saw it. And I'll have to go look at it. Wow, I can't believe I missed that one. Hold on. Okay, I went and checked. The one I was that I hadn't checked was this one right here. It is a CZ. And again, did I check it for Sterling? Let's see. Yes, this backing is nine two five. And let's see if this part is marked. Mm, I don't see anything. Let me do a rub thing here and test it real quick. Oh, it's rubbing silverish. Sorry, I'm not showing this on camera. I wanted to keep it away from the jewelry because we don't want to damage any of the jewelry. If the oh yeah, there's your little blood stain on that, and it turned fluorescent. So this is, although it's a CZ, it it also is sterling. A cute little heart. That sure did look like a diamond to me. But it tested as a CZ. Single. Goes with the single group here. Now, to my surprise, when I went over there, I went ahead and... See, we've seen these, and these, and this, and this. Another single. Sterling. I went and tested, I saw those, and I don't know what those are. Went and tested this one. This little huggy earring is what it's called. It's gold on one side and silver on the other in color. I went and tested these stones, and they are diamonds. These tested as sapphire, and this says it's 14 karat gold in here. So that was a nice find. But it's an only it's a single earring so far. Maybe we'll find the match. Let me stick it in my 14 karat gold pile. Right there. This was another surprise. I just thought these were very pretty. I want y'all to see them. Those are all diamonds. They tested diamond. There's the back. And I haven't found the markings on the earrings yet. I'm going to have to test it for 14 karat gold. Come on, focus. Thank you. Very pretty earrings. I hope I find a match to those. There's a lot of diamonds in those. Put that there. This one tested either... This one tested topaz in the middle, not ruby. And then the uh, clear stones tested SCZs. And I didn't find any markings on this. But it did test as, um, it's faded now. You can't see it. Hardly, but it did test as silver. I'll put that in my silver pile. Single earring. This one I thought would test silver. It did not. That's a CZ. Pretty lever back earring. This one I thought might test little diamonds in here. And, 
and silver, but it didn't test either way for either either thing. It's another huggy type earring. It's very pretty. Maybe I should test it for gold. I don't know. I'll look into that one further. Next earring. Now these I haven't tested, but they're not magnetic. This is lightweight, so it's hollow. But I believe this to be 14 carat or 10 carat. I'm gonna look again to see if I see any marks. And I do. It's on the stem. And it's 14 carat. Let me look at my larger magnet magnifier here on the loop. It says 14. Fourteen karat, uh, one twentieth gold fill. So that's a gold filled loop. Hoop. I like the way it opens up. You just pull it apart and put it back in. Very flexible. Here's a little hematite elephant. You're missing one of the stones there. That wasn't even an earring. This is very tarnished, but it is marked 925 Thailand. It's a single earring. I'll put it over here, my singles. This one also, I believe, is 925. It's marked right there. And it's a single. Now this was not magnetic, but I couldn't find a marking on it. I'm going to scrape it real quick and see what happens. And I'm going to use the 18 carat to see if it glows. And yes, it's fluorescent, so this is definitely silver. Single earring. Let's see this one. Let's see if it's marked on the stem. I don't see any markings on it. It's very tarnished. I'm going to scrape it and see if it fluoresces. And when I say that, I have to be very careful with this. i got acid everywhere. See the fluorescent on this one? That was the little ball earring I just showed you. And I'm going to try this one. Oh, yeah, it still it looks like it's scratching silver. It too gets that real shiny fluorescent line on it. I don't know how to show it to you guys. I don't want to drop this in my coffee. But anyway, that too is silver. Tarnished silver hoop. And that is a single earring. We have this piece, which is turquoise inlaid. And I believe it was marked. Maybe not. Nope, I don't see any markings. I'm going to test it real quick. It also is scratching very silverish. I'm going to put my silver group and test it with my 18. No, I think I'll test it with the 14 carat for, I mean the silver fluid and see if I get the little blood stain. Some people say that doesn't work. 
Um, I've had it not fail me, and yes, it did have a little blood stain. But it ran into something else. Let me do it one more time. There. Good scratch on that. Good rub. It doesn't scratch the jewelry at all. The only time you damage the jewelry with acid testing is when you put the acid right on the jewelry. Not real smart. And yes, we have the little blood stain there. So that is silver, and it's a single earring. We have this one that looks like silver also. I will test it. <laughs> And no, it's not. I can tell by the rub. It's got a little copper color in it. So that's silver over copper. And we will put that aside. This looks like it's silver. So I'm going to test it. And it's not rubbing off at all. So it's probably stainless. I can't get it to uh, rub. I see something in there. Let me see if that's a... No, it looks like somebody was trying to see if it was solid or not. Hmm. I'll check the stem on this one. No, I don't see anything anywhere on this. Nope. Hmm. That's that one. I think it must be stainless. Then we had this pretty gold tone. It could be gold over silver. I don't know. I'm going to scratch it and see what I get. Oh, I definitely get a gold look. So let me put some 10 carat. Got to get a sip of coffee. Hubby makes the best coffee and it gets, sits there and gets cold. You're welcome, honey, but it's true. Okay, the 10 carat is not disappearing, and that's what you're looking for. This is where I scratched it, right here. And of course, now you can't see it. No, it's disappearing. So it's not gold. if I see any marks on it. Very pretty. No marks. Let's scrape it again and see. Scrape it. Let's rub it again and see if what it does with the silver. Which it would be strange to me if it came out silver. May just be gold plated. Yeah, it disappeared on that too. Nope. Okay. 
So, I need to clean this off before I get my hand stuck in this acid, which would not be pleasant. And when it, you do, it turns your skin yellow. So I'm not seeing yellow yet. And like I said, it's not pleasant. You should always be wearing gloves, and I'm not. So do as I say, not as I do. These were little rhinestones I found for repairs. This right here was just findings and these were stones that had no holes in them. So I don't know what they came off of. This looks like it might have been glued on like that. It's very pretty. And this little glass heart is beautiful. And this, will, definitely I'll use this in a picture. One of my jewelry pictures. So that was a lot of this and that. Some findings to repair jewelry. That was my repair stack. I found a Diamonds International bracelet. Charm bracelet. This one has the seahorse. The clock, and I don't have the clock in the horseshoe. I don't have the horseshoe either. So that's kind of cool. I don't know which islands those go to. Love this little earring my husband found. It was a little cuckoo clock. Unfortunately, we did not find, and that articulates. I wonder if something was on that though. This is just adorable, little lever back. Make a cute little charm on a charm bracelet. That's it. Oh. I don't like them sitting out. This was a nice little lever back. It looks brass and silver. Here's the back. I didn't test it. Then we had some more findings here for earrings. I'm gonna put them all together. And then we had some little charms and pendant pieces. Here's a heart that have the bell on them. Um, oh, this was a cool, look at that. I've never seen a lever back round like that. And this is in good shape. It's just a little frazzled tassel. Now, where are the pendants? I think they got mixed up. This right here. We're all single little um, studs that I looked at and really thought this might have been something, but... Checking it again, there's nothing there. These were just, um, even this one, the way it was made, that was a nice CZ, but that's not silver. Yeah, definitely not silver. So those were those. I looked through all of them, and this was not, okay, back to the pendants, and they got shoved over here, so I don't know what happened. Everything got shoved over there, great. Okay, I found this nice money clip, men's money clip. Isn't that beautiful? There's the back, it's in great shape. It's called Barlow is the brand. Very nice. I'm gonna put that in the bag so it stays nice. Experimenting with this one and a half by two inch. Let's see if it fits in there. Nice and tight. And you bang around. Yep. Fits in that. 
And, okay, we had some miscellaneous cufflinks. I haven't had a chance to really look at those, but I suggest that you do, because sometimes they can be gold. And this one, this one's even got a little stone in it. Doesn't feel cold though. I do see a mark here on the pack, I think. Okay, that's swank. And I don't see any marks on this one. And let me get my coffee out of the way. There we go. Very pretty mother of pearl. Don't really see any marks on this one. I put them in my uh, curiosity box over here, jar. Okay, what else do we have? We have this cute little sterling kitty cat ring, and he's playing with a, a little ball, probably a, a ball of yarn or something right here. I'm not sure what he's playing with. You can use your imagination, but he's very cute. I can wear him on my pinky. I thought I could wear him last night. I can't wear him today. Oh, I must have been wearing him on my pinky. Very cute, and that's sterling. Let's see, we had this little ring, turquoise, another sterling ring, and it's small, fits on my pinky, sort of, maybe not, yeah, it's pretty small, uh-oh, mm-hmm, there you go. That's where the acid is. I need to wash my hands. Or do that again. I'm going to have to put up with me with a yellow nail now for a while. That's okay. Okay. <sighs> we had this pretty little tack pen, maple leaf. Another tack pen. Sometimes these can go for big money too. Marlboro County School District. Excellence in teaching. Little Angel. Love those. It's a pretty little pen. There's the back. It's in great shape, no wear. Some of these tack pens can, uh, this is United Way. I found one, found one with rubies and diamonds one time. Here's a cute one with a little hummingbird.
here's another cute one. Who have protected the... I don't know which saint this is. If I can read it with my loop. Mary without sin. So that's Mary. Who have received to thee. Here's the back of the pen. Very pretty little pen. Okay, I think that's all of the pins. I'm going to bring you to the rings. There's a diamond ring. Shaped. Found another one of these. This is the second one. These um, are Mark 925. Right there. I got it upside down as usual. Sorry about that. All the stones are there, so that's two of these. This is another one I found. It looks like it goes with another one. It's very pretty. It's a stacking ring. Here's an eternity ring with the bezel set stones all the way around. And then I'm missing. I don't see any marks in this. It's probably a size six. It fits me pretty good. And then we have this little ring. And somebody's put little beads on here, I guess, to make it fit better. Sweet little ring. I thought that was a pretty nifty idea on their part. <clears throat> and then this ring, I believe, is sterling. I don't know if there's any signature in there or not. I'm just going to rub it. I'm not doing any acid testing until I get my gloves on. What I'm looking for when I rub is a real silvery sheen, and that one's got it, so I'm sure this is silver. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, this here. Here's some pendants. There's a cross and the dove with the um, olive leaf for peace. Pretty cross. I didn't see any markings on it, but there's no discoloration on it. Wait a minute, there we go. There's some marking on it. 